Support WrestleTalk! Give us a subscribe. The Money in the Bank participants revealed Jinder Mahal's first SmackDown as WWE Champion. And have we seen our last fashion files? I'm Ollie Davis and this is the 23rd of May 2017 edition of SmackDown Live in about four minutes. No cards, Jinder Mahal opens SmackDown, arriving backstage in a limo, complete with 4x4, fancy entrance carpet, and a convoy of police on motorcycles. The WWE machine is so behind Jinder, he even got Triple H's WrestleMania entrance. Shane McMahon opened the actual show in front of the live crowd, announcing the lineup for SmackDown's next pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. Randy Orton will get his WWE Championship rematch against Jinder, and AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, Shinsuke Nakamura, and, after some complaining to McMahon, Kevin Owens will compete in the Money in the Bank ladder match. That's a hell of a lineup right there. And Baron Corbin. Shane made a backlash rematch later tonight of Corbin versus Zayn, and holla holla, a Ziggler and Owens versus Styles and Shinsuke tag team match players. After their win at Backlash, WWE WWE 50-50 booking dictated the welcoming committee had to lose here, with Becky Lynch making Carmella tap. Although the crowd were pretty into Charlotte's hot tag, the women's division storyline has sadly just become filler on SmackDown. Hopefully next week's fatal five-way number one contenders match for Naomi's title will give them a better direction. Although if the men's WWE Championship is anything to go by, Tamina's going to win everything. What wasn't 50-50 booking though was Sami Zayn getting in a 15 second surprise roll up victory against Baron Corbin. Enraged, the lone wolf beat down Sammy at ringside and then around the crowd. After another really good fashion file skit where they tried to hand in their badges to Shane McMahon for losing at Backlash, with Fandango's brilliant line, their day one ish was just more H than ass. SmackDown's commissioner put them back on the case. Both Tyler Breeze and Fandango beat Jimmy and Jey Uso in separate, very quick singles matches with surprise roll-ups, making three surprise roll-up finishes out of the night's four matches so far. Enraged by the losses, the Usos agreed to an impromptu tag team title match. Breezango failed to crack the case again though, but they remain super over with the crowd being very into the near falls. Hopefully Breezango can stay in the tag team title mix with the New Day's impending return. They've really got something at the moment, and it's much more coherent and potentially longer lasting than Heath Slater and Rhino's comedy act from last year. After years of complaining the WWE machine never fully push anyone other than Roman Reigns, SmackDown have strapped the rocket to Jinder Mahal. They went all out for his championship win celebration with dancers, pyro, music and a dressed up ring. It was such a spectacle a lot of the crowd found themselves dancing along to it. SmackDown appeared to be trying the old Bret Hart dynamic with Jinder. A heel at home and a face abroad. The night's main event saw Nakamura's SmackDown in-ring debut, where he picked up the winning pin against Owens and Ziggler. The four had a decent long match, starting the build to them all colliding at next month's Money in the Bank. Seeing AJ tensely celebrate with Shinsuke afterwards was pretty damn tantalizing. So that was this week's SmackDown Live in about four minutes. Here's the usual ratings recap from top up to bottom, smack damn smacktastic, smack bang in the middle, Ellsworthy, and Raw. I'll reveal my score very shortly, but first, vote in the poll above my head to give it your own rating. I'll announce the results in tomorrow's Wrestle Talk news. I've got to hand it to them. WWE are doing everything right with Jinder Mahal, booking him incredibly strongly going into Backlash, having him win the title, and then staging an excellent celebration for him here. It's the seven years of undercard jobbing that precedes it that I take issue with. Also, it would have been pretty fun to have the Viper strike from out of nowhere in the title celebration. Most preferably dressed in traditional Indian attire. That, combined with a great tag team storyline and the stacked Money in the Bank lineup, means this week's SmackDown is smack bang in the middle. But what about this week's episode of Raw? Watch my review of a WWE star's in-ring main roster debut. And somehow the Hardys vs TNA legal battle has gotten even worse. Click the videos to the left to find out more, press subscribe, 
subscribe and support Wrestle Talk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis, and that was wrestling.